Hey, what's up everybody? This is Camden Long coming to you live right now from the farm, from the future homestead right now in the making. We're having a great day right now and I'm going to share with you four pillars that will help you to become a successful online English teacher. So the first pillar is first impressions. When you're dealing with an online type of situation, they don't know you and you don't know them. So in order to make a great, significant first impression, you really need to have your appearance looking fresh, looking ready to go like you're going to meet people for the first time. So for example, you gotta have a fresh shave, okay? Make sure your hair's looking okay. Make sure you got a nice shirt on. Make sure you're in a good lighting area and a quiet environment, okay? So that's the first thing, the first impression is going to have a significant impact on your ability to get the next set of bookings and also to make sure that that first online English lesson is fun, creative, and also successful, okay? The second pillar that you need to be ready for is classroom performance. So you could have a great first impression, you could have all the basics, the lighting, the quiet environment, your appearance, your appearance, your hair, your shirt, your uniform, all that great stuff, okay? But after all that kind of like washes away within the first one minute or two minutes is going to be your classroom performance. So how you can articulate your voice, how you can get your message across, how you ask questions to the student. Because when you're dealing with online English teaching, you may have students from the ages of four all the way to 40, okay? So classroom performance. So for me, I'm great imp I have great improvisation, I have great improv skills, okay? So you've got to develop yourself on the spot. You've got to have some questions that are ready, perhaps you could write it down on a piece of paper. You could have some props. What I like to focus on are my hobby props because you know, you can have stuffed animals, those are great. You can have the calendar, that's great. But for me, I like to show things that are very personal, like a hobby. For example, when I show them a fresh glass bottle of raw milk, when I show them the eggs that I'm getting from these organic farms, when I'm showing them coconuts that I just harvested off the tree, or whether it's a gigantic bunch of bananas, when I can show them things that they are not, you know, somewhat used to, then that's going to be able to create a lasting impression. And that's again why I've been able to be successful long term and I have over 150 bookings right now with my schedule. So you've got to understand what you're good at, what you like to talk about, because even if you do a great job the first lesson, the second lesson, or the third lesson, what about three months from now, six months from now, one year from now? So when I have some of my regular students that I've had for over two years now, they're expecting something new, fun, and exciting. It can't be the same thing every single time. So that's up to you how you want to present your props, present your hobbies, and your photos, and things that you're doing outside the classroom. I just ate breakfast, excuse me. So again, classroom performance, okay? Number three is the third pillar the third pillar to become a successful online English teacher now and for the future, for the long term, will be your feedback reports and your schedule. So you don't have to write three pages, you don't have to spend two hours on trying to make a perfect feedback report. As of right now, with the new curriculum, the feedback report is already like built in and you have to click some vocabulary words and some questions or sentences about what they did good at and some things they need to improve on. So that could take just a few moments. But if you're still dealing with the old curriculum or you don't have a built-in software and you have to do a, you know, a handmade custom feedback report, you know, have something that's fun. Have something that they will remember your name by. Oh, some ants down here. Whoops, I gotta move have some things that they can remember you by. Now, when I say sincerely, I'm always saying my last name, Camden Long. Sincerely, Camden Long. Have a great day. You did such a wonderful job in the English lesson today. We need to improve on your vocabulary next time. 
I really hope that you can get an English storybook or an English novel so that next time you can share your storybook with me in the class. I'm always doing my best to try to get them to do a show and tell type of presentation in the classroom because the more things that you can get them to show you, <clears throat> that's going to be very easy and simple to ask questions and to help them to build their English language speaking and listening skills, okay? So make sure you have a great feedback report and make sure you do it on time. And the next part of that is the scheduling. So a lot of teachers, you know, they're always asking me, hey, you know, why is, why is it not really picking up? And I always check their schedule and it's not really open. So that's just common sense, you know, if, if you're not open and available, for new students, for trial classes, or for pop-up notifications, or for regular students, how can they book lessons with you? How are you going to have classes and build up your teaching hours and to build more financial income at the end of each month, you know? So you have to be available. I'm available seven days a week, and then I take like a three-day vacation each month to kind of re recharge, relax, have fun here in Thailand, you know, enjoy the Tefl Dream lifestyle. So that's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to go five days hard and then take off Saturday and Sunday, that's up to you. But again, parents want teachers who are available. So if you're not that available, then they're going to go to a new teacher, okay? And the fourth pillar to be a successful online English teacher is what you're doing outside the classroom. So are you taking care of your health? Are you taking care of things like sleep, food, healthy liquids, exercise, time outside? So these are all things like if you're just staying cooped up in the city and you're staying cooped up in your room and you're wondering why you don't feel so creative and spontaneous with your, with your lessons and with new students and fresh stuff with your regular students, well, you've got to be honest with yourself and assess what you're doing outside the classroom. So for me, if it's on YouTube, I'm watching videos that I love to watch that bring me enjoyment, same things that I can learn about. You know, Mark Ween's YouTube channel. I love to watch about food in different countries and travel. And then Joe Rogan podcast because he always has great guests on and, you know, the questions and the topics and the stuff that they get into. So you've got to find things that you love to do in your free time, and you've got to make time for that. And then, for me, it's getting outside here. Look, there's no houses right now. will be one out here soon. There's not a lot of car. There is nobody driving. Look, it's just all farmland. So I'm recharging on the natural elements. And that's what you got to do if you want to stay in this thing long term. So start to evaluate and start to assess what you're doing outside the classroom because that is a key, key, key component for you to maintain and also to build your success as an online English teacher. So I hope that these four pillars really helped out. Just a quick review. The first one, first impressions. Second pillar, classroom performance. Third pillar, feedback reports and also opening your schedule. And then the fourth one, what you're doing outside the classroom. So don't be lazy. Get out, get the body moving, get excited, get the endorphins working, get the serotonin pumping, you know, get the dopamine working, get outside in the sun, do some labor, you know, whatever brings you joy outside. But that's gonna be a critical component to also maintaining some sanity when you're sitting down all day and you're talking to people how to improve their English. So. Right now, it's the end of the rice season here in Thailand. <clears throat> so dry season is coming. It's the high season in here. High season here in Thailand right now for travel. Beautiful mountain in the back. And I'm gonna water all these trees out here. Gonna order more coconut trees. Gonna have a chicken house out here soon. So we're having a great, great time living the Tefl dream. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, or if you wanna share your thoughts or feelings about this video, about anything I've done on this YouTube channel, let me know in the comments section. I will get back to you. Have a great day.